We're on. Christ is risen! to heal Saul Paul's blindness. The scripture hints that Paul will not have an easy time following Jesus. In the name of the Father, Father and the and Son, Son, and the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. Amen. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His steadfast love endures forever. The stone, stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now there was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias. The Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and at the house of Judas look for a man of Tarsus named Saul. At this moment, Saul is praying, and he has seen in a vision a man named Ananias coming in and lay his hands on him, so that he might regain his sight. I myself will show him how much he must suffer for the sake of my name. So Ananias went and entered the house. He laid his hands on Saul and said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on your way here, has sent me, so that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately, something like scales fell from Saul's eyes, and his sight was restored. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Think about this silently in your heart. Are we blind to the goodness of any of our classmates or someone in our family? Let us pray to God for our needs and the needs of others, our family, neighborhood, and the world. For each need we say, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, inspired by the risen Lord, that it may be a refuge for those grieving the troubles of life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have begun the search for faith in their lives, that they may have patience as they await the vision of God within them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick, for all the sad and sorrowing, for all who continue to struggle with more than they can bear, during the coronavirus pandemic, that they may find the spirit of Jesus Christ risen from the dead to offer them strength and healing, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our elect and candidates who near the end of their journey to, deep in, to deeper faith, that their hearts may soon be warmed by the spirit's fire, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faculty, staff, and students of the Franciscan School, and all its benefactors, that guided by the spirit of truth, all children, young people, and all discerning their place in God's plan, may discover how God is at work giving them a future of hope and promise, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our 8th graders and their families who um, graduated yesterday from the Franciscan School, we wish them all the best as they start their high school career shortly. Um, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. So let's join together in saying the, praying the words that Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy God, just as you helped St. Paul to see the truth of your word, help us to recognize the truth of the gospel. Help us to be open to the power of your spirit. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's join in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. 
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Again, we did celebrate our eighth grade yesterday. I'd like to appreciate all the faculty and staff who turned out in the rain for the uh, non-traditional virtual um, clap out that we had yesterday. Um, we had all the eighth grade families drive through our parking lot where they were uh, feeded by our faculty through applause and well wishes for their um, upcoming summer. We have one birthday that we will celebrate today. In first grade, Charlie Appert. Yay, Charlie! Yay! What do we say to Charlie today? Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! Yay! Let's join together in closing, as we always do, with the prayer before the cross. In the name Amen. of the Father, and the Son, and the, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Most high and glorious God, enlighten the darkness of my heart and give me a correct faith, a certain hope, a perfect charity, sense, and knowledge, so that I may carry out your holy and true command. St. Francis of Assisi, pray for us. St. Clare of Assisi, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Have a great Thursday. Nothing there? <laughs> Christ is risen, yay! Have a great Thursday again.